Hey folks, welcome back. So I've had a little bit of time to spend on my new floating router, and I'll tell you, am I ever getting excited? I've got a, you know, part of this thing, I've literally spent a little over an hour getting it this far, and I'm just blown away. So it is going to be a floor mount unit. I decided I'm not going to try to sit it up on a bench because um, I could just see it being too high up to work on, you know, to get the mechanism. So what I made is, I made it so that it's going to be comfortable to set in a chair. You're going to put, you're going to come up. You're going to pull this thing. It's going to still fit underneath the bench when you, uh, when this gets pushed down. It'll still going to be able to slide underneath the bench. And then you'll just be able to come up and sit at it like I am right now and do your routering. So all i got right now is just my center box done. Um, but I'm extremely happy. It's going to give me a real big, and just like I said in the other video, it's going to give me a bigger range of motion than my big floating router. Um, this is going to give me about six inches by about a foot. So... I'll be able to comfortably router on the end about a six inch by one foot uh, chunk of wood, which is, you know, just going to be great. One of my springs came unhooked here. Um, I just got this thing just literally stuck together. I'd have to, uh, I just got to spend a minute there and get my springs hooked up. But you can see it gives me a nice uh, range of motion, especially in the center here. And, uh, you know, it was, I used a little bit different uh, mechanism too to make this happen. Something that's going to be even easier to build and uh, I think I've got a little better than a half a sheet of plywood into this so far and you can see that's I did just use three quarter inch birch plywood um, so if you haven't seen my floating router video uh, what I'm aiming to do is be able to take a two by six and be able to put it in one end of the machine there's going to be a router mounted on a slide here I'm going to be able to put it on one side of the machine and be able to, to uh, follow uh, have a copy pin on this side of the machine with a bearing that, you know, if I put this in this side, then on this side, if I put a blank, I'm just going to be able to, to router it and get it to come out. And uh, that's what that other machine did. But when I made it, I made it way too big. It's quite a big bulky thing. You know, for example, on the other machine, I had a bunk come out the other side that was the same size as the outfeed. But I don't need it. I only need a little wee short piece. So this machine will only end up having just a little short piece where my templates will fit and then on this side I could have just I'm going to probably do a fold down uh, table on this so that when I want to put it away it's just going to fold down to this compact little unit here so so it's obviously still quite a bit of work to do to it but uh, just thought I'd show you guys a video to show you how far I've got it and to see the mechanism you're going to have to turn in tune in to the next video uh, so I'm going to ask you guys a question I got to think of one <laughs> want you guys to leave comments of course uh, anyway you guys tell me if you like this or not so hopefully you guys are having fun watching hopefully you'll keep tuning in and we'll see you next time